Toki Shinobu is a comfort utility character from my day one experience. She can feel so fast that I feel like she's a portable statue of seven, and her E skills utility can fit in the four piece tenacity artifact set benefit, which makes her so good to fit in with physical team comms, dual team comms with Ito, and as well as laser team comms. And not to mention, she gives us more money. But a burst animation is awfully familiar that. Why didn't anybody pair her with Amber? It's been a while. You miss me? Which is exactly what we're gonna do today. Of course, this is like an overload team, which means that I could have just gone with like Benny, coupled your... with Shunning to do the Come job, or seasons. I can also pair it with Sinchu as well. So we got a national team with Pookie variation. No doubt that is gonna work, but. Honestly speaking, uh, it's time for some variety, but is it going to be ready. optimal? Maybe, but this is how it's going to work. Now, we do know that Cookie's burst below 50% HP give her extended burst duration. This gives us enough time to switch over to Amber. The most important thing that we have to go forward to is who is the one doing the overload damage. So we do have to do some experiment. And for this experiment, Cookie's elemental mastery and as well as Amber's version doesn't really matter. We do have to just see who is the one doing more so that we can focus our resources building that particular character. The experiment is pretty simple. We're going to just do elemental reaction. And for this instance, Cookie is the one doing 4k overload damage. Now it's Amber's turn. And you can see it's around 2k plus. So now we know how much they can do for their overload damage. It's time to see who is the one gonna do it in this cookie amber combo. We first got to apply some pyro aura, followed by cookie's burst, then her E, then go to Amber's Q. Now if you replay the video, Cookie is the one doing the reaction damage since we see more 4Ks than 2Ks. And with that in mind, we can safely focus our resources on Cookie, getting her to level 90 with full EM build and also with 4 piece Thundering Fury for max result. And we still got 2 character slot which we can dedicate fully for buffing more EM. The perfect 4 star is gonna be Sucrose because she has a really nice passive buff like so. As for the last slot, we do want to get more EM so we can equip them with 4 piece instructor set and ideally they do have to be off field DPS that we can have some fun along with Sucrose and Cookies E and that leaves us with a couple of choice but we do want to have some fun so we're gonna mix it up with Xingyan or Toma. Now they do have a script requirement. Xingyan has to be C2 so that whenever she bursts, she can still keep up with the level 3 shield in order to make this work. As for Toma, he do has to be C4 so that it's easier to maintain his burst since he has a ridiculous burst cost as well. And C2 will be just nice to also increase his burst duration. Not to mention C1 also makes it a little bit more easier to maintain his burst uptime. And both of them have to be equipped with Favonius weapon. Now that is the case because Cookie has a ridiculous amount of burst costs at 60. Which means we do have to find a lot of ways to funnel back her energy through the means of her other teammate. And since Amber is not going to do the reaction damage, we are going to change her build into giving more energy with Favonius Warbow coupled with the 4 piece XL set. So with that said, I'm going to test out Toma, then we'll go with Xingyan. Also, do know that they are obviously not properly built, so this showcase is not going to have some crazy ass damage, but it does serve as a good reference for what it can be with full build and all kind of stuff and let's just see how it goes now to see if the em buff works we have to test it right here then we can check out the stats and we can see we got like close to 1.1k plus EM. We will be testing it over with a single target Lava Chill and this is to see if we can get back the attack sequence reliably with just a single target. 
and of course both of them will be using uh trying to remove the cryo shield first and toma will be out first i'm going to show you the attack sequence at the left side so you can know what is going on Check this out. Here's back. Animal hypostasis emulation. Let's sort of off metal this. No one escapes my son. Stand clear. Now at this point, the attack sequence resettled, and if you can use Cookie's Burst once again, and that will be considered a success. Enhanced animal module 75. All right, and there we have it. That's a slight delay, but I, overall, I think it's quite satisfactory. And before we continue with Sing Yen's version, both Toma and Sing Yen is using the same identical artifact set, being the four piece instructor set. And all of them are not leveled up, except for the circlet and the sense, which the sense happen to be an off piece energy recharge, which is much needed. And the next important thing is just the crit rate circlet. And there is still some room to improve, but for now, this is what they use. And of course, the weapon is the Favonius weapon. Same goes for Toma. And let's get back to Sing Yen's showcase. For the most part, the attack sequence will be the same. Stand with me. Shred till I'm dead. Enhanced animal module 75. I'll settle this. But for now, it does seem to work pretty well. Absorption test. Okay, I kind of screwed up here. I should have went back to follow back the sequence. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter much. Everything seems to go well. And yeah, so that is how uh, this thing will do. But I think I might prefer Singen's version a lot more. And maybe instead of instructor set, I will just go with like full physical build so that she get more burst damage. Uh, that's what I think. Do let me know which version do you like the most. And I shall end it off with an Cryo Regis Vine uh, showcase. Like, I think everyone does seems to hit this plant for some reason. And of course, I'm going to leave the entire roster build at the end as well. Other than that, that's it from me and goodbye. Here's the build for the team that I just used. Ember, as we said, Favonis Warble, coupled with the Excel set. And Excel set is using uh, level zeros and uh, pretty copium. We can definitely improve, but the important thing is with this off piece crit rate, I believe. Pretty essential to keep uh, to activate Favonis Warble. Cookie, as we said, full EM build with Thundering Fury. And C0, as well as Talon being um, 166. And to be honest, uh, the level for the burst doesn't really matter much, but why not just level it out for fun? His skill though is pretty nice. You can get more healing if you do wish to get it. Uh, Sucrose is full EM build as well, but she is not max level, so maybe there might be slight difference, but uh, for now, this is what it looks like with full EM. She is actually C6, but what actually matters most, I think, is for C4. Other than that, um, that is what is needed from her. Singin is using... Um, pretty much the high level with the Favonius Great Sword. Instructor set, which is going to be shared with Toma. As we showed off earlier on, uh, both all of them are level 0, with exception of the Sense being Energy Recharge. Ideally, high crit rate is good enough. Copium Goblet and a crit rate instructor set. And that is all we need. Constellation, as we said, a uh, minimum C2 for this to work. Toma underleveled, so it can explain why he is much 
be good and sing his version. Minimum C4, as we mentioned, energy is pretty much important, as well as the increased duration and the cooldown reduction. And with that said, that is it for this very fun team that we just came up with. Not gonna lie, this is actually one of the most enjoyable team that I've played. Mainly because it's overload and fireworks is pretty fun.